Mark Rogers, TV on the line with uh, Tommy Brown, a consensus top 10 tackle in high school football across the nation. Tommy, we appreciate your time. Thanks for jumping on board with us. Thank you. So let's let's talk about your game. First of all, obviously, uh, you can look at any recruiting service, and I've got 247 pulled up as the ninth rated uh, offensive tackle in uh, coming into college football. So just your thoughts about um, in regards to what you're hearing about the what the coaches say or when they bring you in, why you've proven yourself uh, to this degree and what they like about you. Well, really, I think what the coaches say most is how uh, I'm able to use my athletic ability with my size. It helps a lot. Um, I played lacrosse for five years before I played football. So it, it that sport really turned me into an athlete and been, I've been – able to move my feet a lot better. So they, they say a lot, it's mostly to do with my athleticism uh, with my size. We, we think of offensive line men as being big and lumbering, but we've got to go back 20, 25 years in football and the way it was played at that point. Uh, that just won't cut it anymore, especially at the tackle position where you're out there on the edge. No doubt about that. So you, you mentioned before we started recording, just coming back from track practice, uh, throwing the shot put in the discus, and you mentioned lacrosse. So you obviously are a very versatile athlete. Uh, do you do you think that kind of carries over from sport to sport and has helped you progress as a football player? Most definitely. Um, I I didn't play football till my freshman year in high school because out here in California, uh, the youth is uh, by weight, and I'm, I've always been pretty big. So uh, <laughs> I'd have to play up. And my dad my dad knew he's he's a He's a high school uh, baseball coach right now, but he's really coached almost anything and everything. And he he know he said it'll probably take you two weeks to pick it up. I mean, my first game was pretty horrendous, and then from there we've just gotten better, and we just continue to get better every week and every year. Of course, great football players uh, come out of uh, states all over the country, but California, and specifically Southern California, known as one of the top recruiting areas in. Uh, high school football, but modern day in particular, just a great um, uh, football situation there for decades. Uh, can, can you talk about how maybe the program has prepared you uh, because of uh, just the rich tradition and the obvious uh, resources and coaching that uh, takes place there? Modern day is um, has been a powerhouse since as long as I can remember, really. My dad went there in um, – I want to say 78 he graduated um and it they've been great consistently and it was really when coach rollo came in is when we became that powerhouse and coach rollo is amazing coach a really amazing motivator and he brings in coaches that know how to coach especially with uh my o-line coach who's uh this is going to be his third year on staff and um he, he's an alum from modern day and he's gone through the process and he knows as an o lineman how to teach linemen it's it's a lot different to have a guy that was uh, i mean a running back being a line coach and so it's different and it's not just football at modern day it's really i in any of my classes you can come in and there'll be five or t up to ten uh defensive i mean uh d1 bound athletes in all all kind of sports. So modern day is just is a school that has that tradition of being great. And when you're around it, you want to be better and you want to try to be the best that can be. And when that level's high, you want to just keep shooting for the stars. We're chatting with uh, Tommy Brown. He's an offensive tackle there at modern day in Southern California, one of the top 10 rated offensive tackles in all of high school football. So if you look at any of the sites and you see the number of schools that are going to make offers or already have, it's obviously pretty astonishing. How, how do you keep your head straight? Uh, how do you sort through all that? Uh, what are you looking for in a football program and a university and campus and culture there? Well, I mean, right now I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty open still for what I'm looking for. I really, it's, I haven't, uh, done much traveling before I started getting these offers. So it's finding what I like. Um, really the three key things are academics, um, the culture and atmosphere of the school. And then if the coaches, uh, if I like the coaches and if they win football, I, I, I don't like to lose. That's fortunate, uh, unfortunately why I stopped playing lacrosse because that's, 
like probably the only sport modern day isn't good at at modern day is uh, boys lacrosse right now. But so that those are the three things I'm looking at, and not really, not one school has hit all three, but there have been a few that have been up there, and um, so it's just it's still I'm still traveling around trying to see what fits for me and. Hopefully I'll find it within the next uh, 11 months or so. So you don't have like a top three, a top five, anything like that at this point? No, not yet. I mean, I'm just seeing how it goes, what comes in, uh, who do- who offers, who doesn't, and uh, where I like best. All right, Tommy, as you just mentioned, you got 11 months. You get a lot to think about. Uh, obviously, just from our discussion, it's pretty, pretty apparent uh, that you're a well-rounded individual, both athletically and academically, and you're looking at uh, a number of things uh, that, that are going to have to meet your standards, and, and that's a great way to go about it. So we wish you all the best, and I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you.